hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video we will understand messaging queue messaging queue is an important aspect of backend development messaging queue allows you to offload heavy processing from a route take it somewhere else process it review it and manage it in this video we will implement messaging queue using rabbit queue and celery on our python flask backend application so let's get started here i am on my xkelly draw and you can see that uh, we have main four components of a messaging queue the first one is a broker it is a server uh, that manages queue publisher and uh, consumer it ensures the delivery and you know some of the examples are RabbitMQ, Kafka and Redis though they vary in the functionalities they provide but they are the popular one then there is a producer or publisher this part creates a queue and sends messages on the queue uh, the model it uses is fire and forget so it doesn't wait for the response from the queue and obviously the application can create multiple publishers then there is a consumer consumer consumes messages published by the publisher on the queue so a, pro a producer sends message to queue consumer constantly looking into the queue whenever a new message comes it pulls the information and process the information uh, there is a facility to process the information in batches or one at a time and you know often there is a retrieval logic in case of failed process of a particular message so you can understand there are four different point broker on which these three things works publisher creates a queue sends a message to queue consumer constantly looking on the queue and when a new message comes it pulls the information and process the information in batch or one at a time in this video we are going to work with rabbit mq and salary so i'm here on my terminal i'll open one more terminal and let's make it bigger and zoom in a bit the first thing we are going to run is docker rabbit mq so in order to run the rabbit mq image and with uh, management tag so that we can have a web interface to look at and here is a simple command docker run hyphen p uh, 56725672 and also for the uh, web interface we need 15672 port so when i run this it will start the messaging queue on our local machine and let's look if we can see it so if i go to local host and 15672 you'll see that we can access to rabbitmq and the default username and password is guest guest so you can see we have the information you can see there is no connection no channel nothing nothing in the queue and nothing in the admin now since the application rabbit queue is running let me minimize that and let me open visual studio code here let's first understand few things so i have this task.py and main.py this main.py is my fast api application i have a route on which i receive messages via telegram so someone sends a message on telegram i receive it here so this is my telegram route to receive messages uh, these few things are telegram specific so consider this as your own process this is 
where the rabbit mq comes into the picture and here i send a response back in this part i run the application on port 5000 then there is a task dot pi or tasks dot pi here all the important thing happens first i create a salary app this takes a name of the messaging queue that you want to create uh, the broker when you use salary you can use multiple brokers in this case i am using uh, rabbit queue which has guest username and guest password and running on local host uh, this is my telegram specific thing so as you have seen that here i am receiving a telegram message so from this messaging queue i am you know processing the telegram message and sending response back to the telegram user so that's why i have these two things now this is the main process you can see you need to create a salary app and then with the salary app dot task annotator or wrapper you define a function i have defined a function process message and response this receives two things chat id and a message to send and what i do is that i mimic the time consuming process here generate a response and send it back to the user and this is a small utility function to send message on telegram so the way it works whenever someone sends message on my telegram board it is received here via webhook we offload the heavy process go here and you know process the message here in order to run the application we need to do two things first thing we need to run the application itself oh my bad i need to activate my virtual environment i have ran the main application here now what i need to do is that i need to run the worker that will you know uh, constantly looking on the queue and making sure that every process or every message sends on the queue will be processed by the function so for that i'll run a command salary a stands for application and in this case it is not here it is here in the tasks.py file which is my worker and i want to use log level equals to info so this goes again salary is a package that we want to run hyphen a stands for the application so the salary application is inside my tasks dot pi file so i will just say tasks so when i do this you will see that the worker has started okay and it is constantly looking into the application and if i come here if i go to connection you can see we have connection established and uh, there is a channel okay and there are a few other things yeah there is a queue as well okay so these things are now running so now if i come here on my telegram this is my telegram board yeah i'm working on some interesting project but when i say hi here that will come to my python flask application the information then forwarded to the queue and the worker will pull the information from the queue and process the message so there is just one small thing i need to do is i need to run my ng rock and i'll quickly do that now if i send a message hi here hopefully we will receive it let me take it to this part you can see a task has received you can see we have on the flask uh, my bad python fast api side we have immediately send response and then we were came here 
this worker has pulled the message and it waited for 10 seconds and then you can see this is the response and obviously it is coming from uh, this part yeah this part message processed okay so if you see here this message process what i'll do is that i'll very quickly send a couple of messages hi again hi how are you this is raj and let's see what happened on this side you can see all the three tasks are received uh, one is performed second is performed three is under process and third is performed as well and if you look here we received all the uh, responses hi hi how are you and this is raj so i guess this is it from my side the code i have used is available on my github it has readme file as well it has requirements.txt file and it has this uh, xcali draw file that you can import on xcali draw to understand the process so i hope this video is informative to you and you have now gained insights in messaging queue in case you want to implement your messaging queue in your project i hope this video is helpful to you if this information is helpful to you and you have gained some knowledge out of this video please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching enjoy the life feel the music peace